Hello dear learners, welcome again. In the previous video, I had discussed uh, questions from chapter number one of macroeconomics. In this video, I am going to discuss questions based on chapter two of macroeconomics or business economics syllabus uh, of uh, SYBCOM. So if you find this video useful, please like it. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. This is the channel link given here. So dear learners, let us begin uh, with the question. So MCQ questions will be based on these topics of chapter two of business economics, macro economic syllabus. You can see meaning and importance of national income, GNP, different variants of uh, uh, G, GNP or GDP, how it is measured, measurement of national income, difficulties, methods and circular flow of income. So questions will be based on these topics. So let us begin with the first question which is not added in the calculation of national income of India, value of goods and services, sold value of the old fridge, services rendered by the housewives, both B and C. So we know that uh, old sold value of old fridge and services given by housewives are not included in the calculation of national income uh, in any country. So both B and C is the correct answer that they are not included. Next question, how many approaches or methods are there in calculating national income? 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 1. So correct answer is there are three methods of calculating national income, output method or value added method, income method and expenditure method. The difference between gross value added and net value added is investment value added precaution production flow depreciation. So we know that when you deduct uh, uh, depreciation from gross value, we get net value. So D is the correct answer. That is depreciation is the difference between gross and net value added. What is the term in economics for the consumption of fixed capital investment value added production flow depreciation consumption of fixed capital is also known as depreciation or wear and tear of machinery and equipment what is the sum total of gross value added of all the firms in the country gross value added of all the firms in the country is known as gross domestic product so first one is the correct answer what is the sum total of gross value added of all the firms in the country minus depreciation? That means GDP minus depreciation. So the correct answer will be NDP. GDP minus depreciation, you will get NDP. So net domestic product. What is the sum total of gross value added of all the firms in the country added with the net factor income? So this total of gross value added of all the firms in the country is GDP. GDP plus net factor income is nothing but gross national product. So B is the correct answer. What is the gross national product GNP minus depreciation? So GNP minus depreciation is net national product. That is D is the correct answer. The financial year in India is from April 1st to 31st. This is very obvious, obvious question that is it starts from April 1st and on March 31st. So A is the correct answer. National income is the monetary value of all final goods and services that are produced by the residents of the country. Consider the following statements and identify the right ones. While calculating GDP, income generated by foreigners in a country is taken into consideration. While calculating GDP, income generated by nationals of a country outside the country is taken into consideration. A only, B only, both A and B. Here, correct statement is A only. While calculating GDP, the income generated by foreigners are included, right? Whereas income generated by nationals outside the country is not included. That is adjusted when we calculate 
gross national product so a this a is the correct a this, this first statement is correct so correct answer is c a only Now moving on to the next question, consider the following statements and identify the right ones. While calculating GNP, income generated by foreigners in a country is taken into consideration. While calculating GNP, income generated by nationals of a country outside the country is taken into consideration. A only, B only, both A and B. Here the correct answer is B only. So that is adjusted. Uh, you know income generated by nationals are included in GNP. So D is the correct answer. Personal income is calculated by which formula? National income minus corporate income tax minus undistributed corporate profit minus social security contribution minus transfer payments. So these are the full forms. So here the correct answer is this B1 because these three CIT, UDCP and SSC they are deducted from national income whereas transfer payment is added to national income for calculating personal income. So B is the correct answer. Value added method is also known as product method, inventory method, industrial origin method, net output method, commodity service method, all of the above. Obviously, dear students, correct answer is all of the above. Value added method is known by all these names. Moving on to next question precautions of measuring national income by value added method is our sale and purchase of second hand goods is not included correct productions of services for self consumption that is domestic services are not included production of goods for self consumption should be included imputed value of owner occupied houses should be included change in stock of goods that is inventory will be included all of the above so correct answer is all of the above all are the precautions while calculating national income by value added method the value of national income adjusted for national adjusted for inflation is called per capita income, disposable income, inflation rate, a real national income. When you adjust any value for inflation, you will get the real value. So here, if value of national income is adjusted for inflation, it will be real national income. So D is the correct answer. Average income of the country is per capita income. National income divided by population gives you per capita income so first one is the correct answer consider the following statements and identify the right ones personal income refers to the income of the individuals of a country income at their disposal after paying direct taxes is called disposable income a only b only both a and b is the correct answer because first statement is also correct second one is also correct so both this E is the correct answer. Which of the following is added to national income while calculating personal income? So as we have seen just now that while calculating personal income transfer payments to individuals are added whereas these three are deducted social security contribution, corporate tax, undistributed profits are deducted from national income whereas transfer payments is added to national income while calculating personal income. So A is the correct answer. National income estimation is the responsibility of NSSO, National Sample Survey Organization, CSO, Central Statistical Organization, Finance Ministry, National Income Committee. So correct answer is CSO. It is CSO who is responsible for national income estimation. Central Statistical Organization, B is the correct answer. Value added is equal to value of output minus opportunity cost, intermediate consumption, opening stock, closing stock. So correct answer is value of output minus intermediate consumption is equal to value added. So B is the correct answer. Dear students, next question, gross value added at market price GVAMP 
of each sector is calculated and summation of total GVA MP of all sectors obviously is equal to GDP MP. So A is the correct answer. Investment is treated as dash in the circular flow of income, injections, withdrawal, leakages, none of the above. Investment is treated as injections in the circular flow. It increases the capacity to produce more. So injection A, first one is the correct answer. Value of output is equal to sales plus change in stock, quantity multiplied by price, both a and B, none of the above value of output is equal to both A and B. Both are correct. Sales plus change in stock or quantity produced multiplied by price will give you value of output. Next question, NDPFC is equal to GDPFC minus depreciation. This is also correct. GDPMP minus net indirect taxes minus depreciation will also give you an NDPFC. GNPFC minus depreciation. So this is not correct. Both A and B. So correct answer is both A and B. First and second. These are correct. So D is the correct answer here. What will be the value of national income if GDP MP is 7000 crore net factor income abroad from abroad is 1200 crore net indirect taxes 500 crore depreciation 1000 crore so national income simply we know that what is national income national income is NNPFC that is national income so that we need to calculate so let us first calculate GNP MP. We can calculate GDP MP is given. So that is 7000 plus add the net factor income to it. That is 1200. So our value will be 8200. Now find out NNP MP from it. So it's very simple. GNP MP is 8200 and deduct the depreciation from it that is 1000 sorry so you will get 7200 as nnpmc so now we need nnpfc so that can be calculated nnpmp minus net indirect taxes so 7200 minus net indirect tax is 500 so ultimately result is 6700 so b is the correct answer here which precautions should be taken while calculating national income with value added method intermediate goods are not to be included sale and purchase of second hand goods not to be included commission or brokerage on sale or purchase of goods old goods will be included all of the above yes the correct answer is all of the above profit equals to corporate tax plus allowance plus retain earning corporate tax plus interest plus retain earning income tax plus dividend plus retain earning corporate tax plus dividend plus retain earning so last one d is the correct answer profit equals to corporate tax plus dividend plus retained earning royalty refers to income received for granting leasing rights of soil assets subsoil assets property wealth so correct answer is royalty refers to income received for granting leasing rights of subsoil assets retained earnings refers to that part of profit which is kept as reserve to meet uh, to pay management organization to pay to the shareholders unexpected contingencies or for business expansion. So C is the correct answer. Imputed value of services provided by owners of production units will be dash while calculating national income by income method excluded included not considered kept aside. It should be included while measuring by income method. 
imputed value of services provided by owners of production so b is the correct answer expenditure method is also known as factor income method product method income disposable method output method so correct answer is income disposable method gross domestic capital formation gdcf or gross investment equals to gross fixed capital formation plus inventory investment gross business fixed investment plus gross residential construction investment plus gross public investment plus inventory investment both a and b government final consumption expenditure a correct answer is both a and b gdcf equals to this or this both are the same gross fixed capital formation from plus inventory investment or you say this will be equal to gross investment so c is the correct answer change in stock is equal to closing stock minus opening stock it's very clear so the correct answer is closing stock minus opening stock moving on to the next question government expenditure g4 government expenditure x4 export i4 investment greater than saving plus import plus taxes so what will happen national income will decline national income will rise national income will remain constant national income first will rise then decline so if this value is greater than this value national income will rise if it is less national income will decline if this value is less than this then it will decline but here it is greater than this value so national income will rise saving is treated as dash in the circular flow of income injections leakages withdrawals both b and c saving is known as leakages or withdrawal so b and c is the correct answer various components of final expenditure are private final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure gross domestic capital formation just a second net exports all of the above so all of the above is the correct answer components of final expenditure these four are the components which precaution should be taken while calculating national income by expenditure method transfer payments are not included expenditure on purchase of second hand goods will not be included purchase of financial assets shares debentures bonds will not be included expenditure on account production or production for self consumption should be included all of the above so these all are the precautions uh, that should be taken while calculating national income by expenditure method income method is also known as income disposable method distributive share method factor payment method both b and c both b and c is the correct answer income disposable method is expenditure method actually not the income method so these first two these two are correct so b both b and c correct answer compensation of employees consist of which element or elements wages and salaries in cash wages and salaries in kind employees contribution to social security schemes all of the above compensation of employees consist of three elements so all of the above these are the three elements d is the correct answer factor incomes paid by each sector are classified under how many heads four heads three heads five heads two it actually it is five heads so factor income is classified into these five heads compensation of employees rent and royalty interest profit and mixed income five heads are there so c is the correct answer what are the difficulties faced in calculation of national income in developing countries lack of reliable data existence of non monetized sector difficulties in classification of working population all of the above so all are the difficulties faced in the calculation of national income in developing countries all of the above are the correct answer there is difficulty getting reliable data existence of non monetized sector is there there is there are non monetized sector where you know transaction does not take place uh, people produce for self consumption and there is difficulty also so d is the correct answer to this question 
thank you so much students stay tuned for the next video on based on chapter number three subscribe and press the bell icon for immediate notifications on the latest mcq videos thanks a lot